What's up YouTube, Jeff back again. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to enable a feature on Samsung phones that people have been asking for for a long time. And that is the ability to lock certain applications. Now locking applications basically means that once you try to launch that application, like for instance, Twitter, it would ask for your pin or your pattern or your fingerprint to get in. And a lot of other phones, especially Chinese brands like Xiaomi, have this feature baked in by default, Oppo, some of the other ones. And a lot of people have been asking Samsung to bring this to Samsung devices, particularly the flagship ones, especially for a long time. I'm gonna show you guys how you can enable it today. So before we get into that, I wanna remind you guys, if you're interested in saving some money and getting premium wireless, you can switch to my partners at Mint Mobile. They have premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. They also have plans that fit every budget and also data need. They've got a four gigabyte a month plan for 15 a month, 10 gigabyte plan for 20 a month, 15 gigabyte plan for 25 a month, and also an unlimited plan, which I think is the best value for $30 a month. All the plans come on unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage. You also get mobile hotspot included with all of those plans as well. It's very simple to switch. You can either get a physical SIM or an eSIM. Uh, the physical SIM kit comes with a SIM tool, so you can pop out your old SIM, switch in the mint SIM, and let the savings begin. Now, I've been using it here in the uh, Phoenix, Arizona area, the Mint Mobile service, for about six months in my Samsung devices, and I've had great service. I know a lot of you have watched these integrations of my videos, and you guys have switched to Mint, or you've tried Mint, and you really loved it. So please feel free to share your experiences below. And if you're still looking to do that, if you want to take the plunge, go to my link, mintmobile.com slash Springer today. If you sign up with any three-month Mint Mobile plan, you can get a free smartphone case of your choice, any smartphone case, like this one I'm rocking today from UAG, the camo, um, just by signing up for a three-month Mint Mobile plan. Mintmobile.com slash Springer. Again, I'm doing this as a personal thank you. Mint's not doing it directly, just for you guys signing up. The link will be in the description, the pinned comment as well. And I appreciate Mint for partnering with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, enabling app lock on your device. So the way to do this, and Samsung doesn't have it baked into One UI 5.1 directly, is to go to the Play Store and a very highly reviewed app called Shortcut Maker, uh, which I love. And if you actually check it out on the Play Store, you'll see it's got 13,330 reviews and a 4.5 rating. Now you guys know how difficult it is. In fact, I should go ahead and throw them a five-star rating because I've been using this app for a while. I'll go back and edit it later, but I don't want to take up too much time in the review. So I'll just put awesome. This is a great app and you guys are going to see why because you can lock applications using this. So once you download Shortcut Maker, again, I'll drop it below if you guys are interested. I'll also put the wallpaper and icon pack and the link to my widget below because people always ask about that stuff too. Once you download Shortcut Maker, basically just go somewhere where you want to put the uh, icon on your home screen that you want to lock. Go down here and find widgets. Scroll down to, this is basically going to create a widget shortcut to the app that you want to lock. So go down and find Shortcut Maker. Here it is. And you want to choose not app, but you want to choose Shortcut Standard, this one right here. So go ahead and add that. And then within that options, you'll have options for all kinds of stuff. This app has lots of other robust features in addition to locking applications. You can also do activities, contacts, files, interlinking, in-app actions, all kinds of stuff. In fact, I might make some other specific videos on what this app can do outside of this. But for today, we want to choose the apps option and then just pick the thing that you want to lock. So let's just say, for instance, I want to lock my Twitter. Lots of people might want to lock their social media or their photos, particularly like their gallery if they have some sensitive information. Let's say I want to lock Twitter and choose it. And then you'll get all of these options here. So the first thing it's going to show you is the name. Obviously, we want to leave the standard name so no one would know that it's not the regular app icon. Then down here, you have some options of what it's going to open. This is the APK it's going to open. This is the icon it's gonna open with. And this is the most important thing, you wanna turn on shortcut lock. That will make sure that it's locked. And when someone tries to tap on this icon on your home screen, you're going to have to put in your pen or your fingerprint to do it. Um, shortcut fix, you also wanna leave that enabled. Um, this is for reset issues, like with the icon, the app icon getting cleared out of memory. It's a technical thing. I would leave that enabled though. It seems to work better with it. Now, one thing that can be tricky is if you have a third-party icon pack like I do, which is Aries Black, again, I'm gonna link it below, you're gonna to wanna to change the icon. Because obviously, if you've got Aries Black installed as your icon pack, you don't wanna have a standard-looking Twitter icon. So go ahead and tap here, scroll down, and you'll find all the icon packs you have installed. You see all the different Aries packs that I have. Go ahead and tap on Aries Black. And then up here, you can search for Twitter. Go ahead and find the appropriate icon. 
and now it will actually show up as the Twitter icon from my icon pack. So now I don't have to worry about having any issues with that. I can tap that it's good to go. And now I can create the shortcut. So now it's gonna place this on my home screen. Let me go back to my main home screen actually, and put it right here. And you'll notice that it looks exactly like the real app shortcut. So if I tap on this one, you'll notice that now I have to put in my fingerprint to unlock it. This one down here is the actual app itself. So you might be saying, well, if I have the actual app on there, how could I then stop people from opening the regular app? Well, here's what you can do. Go long press on your home screen, go to settings, go to hide apps on home and app screen, and then scroll down and find the application that you want to lock or that you just locked. Tap on Twitter, done. And now you can place the Twitter at the bottom I had with the Twitter app shortcut. And now it looks exactly like the layout I had before. And if you go into my app screen in here, you'll see that Twitter is nowhere to be found. So if someone was looking through my phone, they would have no way of knowing that this isn't the actual Twitter app and instead is a shortcut maker shortcut. Um, of course, if you actually are super technical and you dig into the settings, um, you could figure this out by going in and seeing what's hidden, those sorts of things. But if someone just picks up your phone, they're trying to nose through your phone, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna have no way of knowing that that's not your actual Twitter application. Now, of course, there is one other caveat with this. If you are a good lock user, which I am, you'll notice I had to turn off my scrolling vertical app list. And that is because the good lock home up module does not work with hiding apps from the home and app screen. So if you have the good locks module and you have apps list turned on, this will not work because you won't be able to hide them. So you'll have to turn it off. Then you could go back and turn it on, but you'll notice that if you turn it on, it's still hidden. So you just have to turn it off to hide it. And then once you turn it back on, it'll now be hidden still from the vertical app list. And again, this is still locked, so I'm good to go. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, Shortcut Maker has a bunch of other use cases. The link to the app will be below as well as the uh, wallpaper icon pack and the widget if you guys are interested. Again, if you wanna save some money on your wireless, switching to my partners over at Mint, you can also get a free smartphone case of your choice. Go to mintmobile.com slash ringer today to sign up and get in touch with me via Twitter or email and I'll get the case out to you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon, future videos like this. Appreciate you guys checking it out and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.